caroling. It is a holiday tradition that evokes the true spirit of the Christmas season. Words and music that awaken warm memories of family, good cheer, and generosity. Special memories that make each Christmas past so unique. Snow on Christmas Eve. Receiving your first pair of skates. The annual reading of Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. Bringing home your family's Christmas tree. And of course, caroling with good friends. Bringing these special holiday memories to life and creating new ones is the magic behind the Buyer's Choice Carolers. I never really liked a lot of glitz and glitter in Christmas. And the carolers had a certain warmth to them that, that really made me feel much more comfortable. I think other people felt the same way. All the um, aluminum trees and the blinky lights and that kind of thing somehow does not reflect the family and the warm feelings that most people really, really enjoy with Christmas. And the carolers do because uh, each one has a certain personality that's kind of warm. And that, I think, is because it is handcrafted. And the people who are handcrafting it put that warmth into the figure. For more than 30 years, the Byers family have made Christmas memories the old-fashioned way, by hand. Their whimsical handcrafted characters with mouths thrown open in song jubilantly express the joy of the Christmas season. They also reflect the boundless creative magic of their designer, Joyce Byers. You never know where you're going to get inspiration. And I get a lot of my inspiration from watching people. I mean, I'm an incorrigible people watcher, and I tend to see through the obvious in terms of a face. It's, to me, it's not, just, uh, it's not just eyes, nose, and mouth. It's what's behind the character. It's the personality that comes through. And I think that a lot of people feel that way, and a lot of people, when they look at, at the faces of the carolers, get this feeling that they know these people. And they often try to find faces that remind them of people they know. And I think it's the impressionist feeling of the face that enables them to do that. Joyce Byers was inspired to create the carolers after seeing a unique series of porcelain figures in a London antique shop that evoked the spirit of 19th century England. Back home, Joyce decided to try to create her own figurines, ones that combine the feeling of 19th century England with the spirit of Christmas. The figures that I saw in England stuck in my mind, and they I guess they kind of haunted me because it, I kept thinking, you know, I could do that, I could do that. And um, before long, I had a bent coat hanger and things that you'd find around the house, some tissue paper, um, some fabrics that were left over in the, a closet. And I, I started putting them together. I molded the faces and, and then dressed them in uh, fabrics that I had, plus things like the hair from our dog and um, a little bit of fur from an old fur coat and a little bit of hair from my kids. And before long, we had carolers. We had our first carolers, and they were very warm and friendly, and that's really what, what we, uh, I was looking for. I got, I, the original ones had the feeling that has kind of dictated what's happened from then on, and it's that handcrafted, warm feeling that I, I associate with Christmas. For about the first 10 years, I did this as a hobby, and of course it was always in the fall, right at Christmas time, and it just got crazier and crazier. Everything in the entire house was a total wreck. And I finally said, okay, that's it. I don't know how many times I said, I'm quitting, I'm getting out of this, I'm never gonna do this again. And then one year we took a few to an antique show and they sold better than the antiques. So we thought, well, maybe we have something here. Maybe we should think about this a little bit. We're trying to figure out how to keep food on the table. I'd been in the construction business and Things were, things were rough. Uh, we knew how to make these products, uh, uh, the carolers, from uh, after having about 10 years experience and working out the, the kinks in the, in the production process. And all I had to figure out was how to sell them. And uh, basically, uh, I went out and 
uh, was able to solve that problem and uh, took off like a rocket ship. God has blessed us big time. And if your wife or your your husband has a, has a uh, hobby and they want some encouragement and some help, for heaven's sake, support them. Uh, you never know what, uh, what, 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 where it'll go and maybe you'll be as fortunate as we've been. The original workshop for the carolers was on the kitchen table and every December it would just be covered with caroler parts and my mother would be busy putting them all together. Um, uh, as they uh, became more popular, the kitchen table wasn't big enough, so they ended up moving production first into the garage and then eventually into a barn. We lived uh, at a farm that time and had some farm animals and some geese. And uh, some of the first employees that were hired, uh, they didn't want to be trapped in a barn making carolers. They wanted to be outside during the summertime when it was nice out. So they would pull all the production uh, tables into the barnyard and there they'd be making carolers along with the uh, the geese and the sheep and the goats. It, it was a lot of fun. Uh, as the business grew, it became apparent that uh, uh, the family could not handle everything, so we had to look for some other people to help us. We first hired people who were artists, uh, both from fashion design and also fine artists, to help us with the business. And it worked out really well because I could basically show them what to do and how to do it. And from that point on, they just kind of used their own creativity. They were already trained, and I felt very good about allowing them to make decisions and to kind of put their own personalities into the, the figures. What has happened is this has become a collaborative effort, with each artist adding their own personality and a little bit of themselves to each product. And that's what makes it so special. Today, Joyce's creative team has grown to over 100 highly skilled artisans and associates. The Byers family's pioneering spirit and entrepreneurial drive have made the Carolers one of the most sought after collectibles in America. Over the years, Joyce and her talented artisans have added many new and enchanting additions to the ever expanding Caroler family. I think the carolers really grew out of our family's love of the Christmas season. Uh, caroling is a tradition that we looked forward to, but there were lots of other activities that we did all through December that kind of built up the anticipation of Christmas. We would uh, look forward to uh, an advent calendar every year and opening up the next door as we counted down the days to Christmas. Uh, of course, we'd do some baking and uh, made cookies and gingerbread houses and loved making Oh, just a wonderful mess of sticky icing in the kitchen as we try to construct the perfect house and look forward to eating all the uh, leftover pieces. Just like caroling, these are wonderful family traditions that uh, create memories that last a lifetime. Many carolers are handcrafted in limited editions of only 100 figurines. But every caroler is still sculpted, painted, dressed, and accessorized entirely by hand, making no two carolers ever exactly alike. Their endless variety and old world charm are a testament to the creative talent of the buyer's choice artisans. It's almost impossible to make two carolers exactly the same. And the reason is the bodies are all hand sculpted with paper, and it depends how the individual artist chooses to use that paper. They tend to dress bodies to look kind of like themselves. So of course, that in itself makes them all look a little bit different. The heads, are, even though we use a basic mold, we have to put in the undercuts and do a lot of hand fi finishing. So just the slightest pressure will cause the face to be a little bit different. And you can see it one from another. When the artist paints the face, the artist chooses which colors to use, whether to put blue eyes or brown eyes. Um, and again, all of these choices tend to make each figure look a little bit different. 
when it gets to dressing, the dresser has all kinds of decisions to make. We only cut 100 of most of the figures. And so the dresser will, within that 100, choose to position them perhaps 100 different ways. A tilt of the head, you never know what they're going to decide on. The, but between the way it's dressed and the head that they choose and the body that they put it on, each one is completely unique. Oh yeah, our personalities def definitely come out in our dolls. I can typically pick out a doll that I've dressed out of a bunch of dolls because we each know our own style. Everyone's different. Everyone's different. As artisans, we all have our own unique style. And so that brings a lot of variety to the finished pieces. You know, I might mix my colors a little brighter than, than another artisan. Um, the way I apply my eye shapes, uh, where I put my highlights in the eyes. So it creates a great variety in, in each finished piece. One of the things I like about being a dresser um, is that I get to see the end product. I build the caroler um, from bottom to top, and as I get up to the head, the hair, the hat, the caroler comes to life. And then after doing a little posing, adding an accessory, that's when I give it a personality. So it's nice to see that end result. The work that I do every day brings smiles to people's faces. And I mean, how many jobs can you have that that's the result of your hard day's work? So that's really what I like best, bringing smiles to people's faces. What makes every caroler so special is all the artisans that put their work into each one. Um, they each put a little bit of themselves into each figure, and the collaborative effort really brings a caroler to life. Design to finish figurine, every step in the crafting process reflects the loving care and quality craftsmanship that the Buyer's Choice Carolers have become famous for. Every year these whimsical creations of Joyce Buyers continue to bring joy to not only their thousands of loyal collectors, but also to the community at large. Every year, the Byers family donates a significant portion of their company's profits to worthy concerns. Over the years, their philanthropic organization, the Byers Foundation, has helped countless local, national, and international charitable organizations. In 1999, the Byers organization was recognized for their years of philanthropic work and received the prestigious Newman's Own George Award for being one of the top charitable companies in America. The spirit of Christmas is something the Byers family specializes in, and they practice it 365 days a year. One of the things I'm, I'm so thankful for is that over the years we have met such incredible people, and, and those people, I mean, are our customers. They, they, the loyalty uh, that we found, the, 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 the warmth and the friendships that we've made have just been great. Uh, uh, we often have reunions here, people come, come visit us and we, we're amazed that people come in from 38 states to, you know, uh, to spend a weekend with us uh, and we do something usually every couple of years and uh, uh, it just boggles our minds. But, but uh, we basically are, through what we do and are giving to others, are trying to say thank you to our customers and we're, and we're trying to make life better for those that live around us and those that we feel need help wherever we can help them. 
and um, it's only b because of our, our customers that we're able to do this. They're the ones, we're helping others through them. Uh, and uh, I want to thank each and every one of them. They're just fantastic, fantastic people. Family values, handcrafted quality, and a commitment to their community. These are the cornerstones of the Buyer's Choice Carolers' success story. The true spirit of Christmas has never been in better hands.